And this video is sponsored by NordVPN, a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price. Check out the link below for more details. Hey guys and welcome back to another SSD comparison and today with the WD uh, green, blue and black, all of them as you guys can see M.2 SSDs, one of which is a PCIe NVMe, which is the WD Black, and the other two, green and blue, are regular SATA M.2 SSDs. Now, starting with the WD Black, as you guys can see on screen, I did start by testing out with the benchmark, which is Crystal Disk, and as you guys can see, we got on the read side 1730 megabytes per second on read, and then uh, on writes for 184 megabytes per second. Now, I also did test out uh, writing and reading from these disks so that we could simulate a boot disk where we will copy and transfer files and read and write uh, the usual thing that we do on any computer. So as you guys can also see, uh, I did start with the 400 megabytes uh, file and once we copy it, it's just instantaneously. It doesn't take a second. Uh, if I go to one gigabyte file, the same will happen. It will copy instantaneously, so the read and write is really fast. And then when we move on to a two gigabyte file, it will take a few more seconds. And I'll give you guys uh, time so that you can see, but it's pretty fast. And then when we move to four gigabytes files, uh, as you can see, it will start really fast and then it will drop, uh, which is normal, and uh, the lowest that it will get, it's roughly 200 megabytes per second, which is really good. And as you guys uh, have the time to see right over there, uh, it will take a bit longer, but nonetheless, it is fast, and we will see compared to the other two. Now, one more thing that I would like to mention here is that we are testing as it was a boot drive that we will read and write simultaneously to it as a single disk on a computer. But just have in mind that any of these disks, and we are talking about the WD Black, which is the fastest one, if we use it with another disk so that we copy uh, files from one disk to another, as you guys can see, it will be really fast. So just have this in consideration. We are simulating an environment here uh, which most users have, which is a single disk for operating system and apps although it's not the uh, scenario that I suggest. But these are uh, the tests that we are doing here, right over here. Now, moving to the WD Blue, as you guys can see also on screen with Crystal Disk, we got roughly 562 megabytes per second on reads and 512 megabytes per second on write. Now, also doing the same tests that we did with the WD Black, starting with the 400 megabytes file, what I could achieve was exactly the same at this level, instantaneous copy uh, and paste. And then when we move to one gigabyte, as you guys can see, we will have a smaller uh, delay right over there. It will take a few seconds. Moving to two gigabytes, it will take longer. And I'll give you guys a few seconds so that you guys can take a look and measure if you want, of course, in terms of times. And then in terms of the four gigabytes, it will, it will take obviously longer. And in my opinion, acceptable times, as we will see also on the WD Green, but uh, it takes longer than the WD Black. Now, obviously, if we do the same test on the WD Blue or WD Green using two disks, it will be faster. Nonetheless, moving on to the WD Green, as you guys can see as well, we got 555 or 552 to be more precise megabytes per second on reads and 451 megabytes per second on writes. So it's not that different from the WD blue in terms of benchmarks. Now let's take a look at the real world performance and copying the 400 megabytes per second or 400 megabytes file, what we can see is that it's also instantaneous. So it's just a matter of one second or so and the file is there. But when we move to one gigabyte, as you guys can see, sometimes it's almost instantaneously, but sometimes it takes longer. So here I started to notice a big difference from the WD uh, green special to the WD black and a little bit of difference to the WD uh, blue. Now moving to bigger files, if we go to the two gigabyte files, 
it will take longer and you guys uh, if you go back and compare to the WD blue and WD black you will see uh, a bit of a difference especially with the WD black and then when we move on to 4 gigabyte file what it happens that it takes even longer and I will give you guys a few seconds so that you can see there on screen and can measure and can make your calculations but here on bigger files it will take longer than the WD blue and uh, the WD black and this is the uh, kind of files that usually we transfer to one side of another especially when we shoot some videos and so on and so forth 4 gigabytes is a kind of file or a size that it's very common to most of users today so in conclusion guys what we can take right out of here is that these three are different now if you are wondering that the WD black will be three times faster booting your system and three times faster opening apps that's not going to happen and that doesn't mean that it's not worth it in my opinion it's worth it but depending on the way that we are going to use uh, these SSDs now I would say and at least this is my opinion if you are looking for a solid and fast SSD uh, to boot your system that it's fast opening apps and you also manage to uh, copy and paste a lot of large files 4 gigabytes and bigger then I would say that the WD black it's totally worth it the price tag difference from the other two but on the other hand if you are just building your system and you are looking for a fast SSD in this particular case M.2 then I would say that the WD green and blue are the best value if you don't use large files if you are just copying photos and small files and booting your system then you will be just fine with the WD green and blue I would say that at this moment I would choose the WD blue for that particular case and this because of the price because at this moment where I live the price of the WD green and blue is exactly the same but I will leave some links down below so that you can check the prices of these three and then at the end of the day make a decision if any of these uh, SSDs are right for you or not and that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one